Welcome back. I'm not getting this chest right now. So, let's see. Blue guys down there, they take three hits with the sword, or if you're good at it, you can knock them off the edge like that. You won't get any items from it, but you can knock them off the edge. You can throw pots at them to do, like, two damage, I think. Sometimes pots will have hearts in them, or other things, like bombs and arrows. I think I heard one from charging at me. Haha, -ha, you're stuck behind a wall. I can hit you. So let's just keep going around this way. I'll come, I'll come back and get that chest later, so don't worry. Two green guys stuck behind walls. This will be fun. See, I could either fight them, which I'm probably going to do, or I could go up around the stairs there and only have to and I barely fight them. Love it when you get stuck behind one. The way I see it, these are basically one by one by one tiles right here. Like that knob there is one tile. And I like it when they get stuck behind one tile, so I can just slash at them from the other side. Sorry, mouse is in the window. Currently in my equipment I only have the lamp and I level on sword and shield for my uncle. Symbol, and the green tunic. I think it's called something different, but I just call it the green tunic. Let's go this way, and blue guy, door locks behind you. It's basically a mini boss in this case, but it's not really that hard. It's a key that comes into use in the previous room, and this chest here. I'll just tell you now, this chest contains a boomerang. I'm not sure if I should get it or not and make the playthrough more interesting. I should probably get it anyway, although it's not really useful, so you know what? I won't get it. It's not necessary for beating the game. Let's go down steps here. I might change my way on mind on the way back and grab it, but we'll figure out we'll see then. <clears throat> And this right here is the boss of the area. It's a little ball and chain dude. You don't want to get in this way of the mace there. Two ways to beat him. You can either slash at him until he dies, or you can use pots to your advantage. Two pots should take him down, if I remember correctly. He drops a big key. Like the deck says, it can open locks that small keys cannot, like this one here. Now, long dialogue with Princess Zelda here. Not at all. If you answered not at all, she would repeat that all again. I don't feel like sitting through that. And this chest, like I said before, if you didn't grab the lantern from the house or the chest in the sewers, you would have uh, this ha would have a lantern in it. Otherwise, it just has five rubies, rupees. And yes, Zelda's following me around now. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna get that boomerang. Actually, here, I'll go get the boomerang, I'll show you what it does, and then I'll load the save state, and then I'll not get the boomerang. You press select, you press up or down, and you can access it. And you press A or just select again, and you've selected it, and then you can uh, press A to throw the boomerang. If you stun kill an, a stunned enemy, the, you... The boomerang, when it hits an enemy, will stun it, and if you kill a stunned enemy with it, you're more likely to get a green rupee, which isn't really worth it, in my opinion. Actually, you could have gone up that way and just bypassed all the guards, but I'm gonna go show off the uh, boomerang for you. So you 
whack him, he gets stunned. Or actually, he falls off a pit in this case, but I'll find a better one. Yeah, you follow me. There. See, so whack him, he gets stunned, he can't attack for a while. After a minute, he'll start shaking. Like that, and then he'll come back and start chasing you again. So stun him. If I kill him, the stunned guard. Let me get him away from the edge first. Here's a good example. See, he drops a green rupee. Same thing with this guy, if I get him closer. I stun him, I whack him, drops a green rupee. So he loads state now, and avoid getting the boomerang. Like I said, you can go over this way and skip all the paths. Ha! The reason I didn't grab this one in the first place is because it's just a map. You don't really need it. It's an L button to see the map, and that's basically what it is right there. Most of this you're not even going to see until later. So then... I like how you can hear the rain outside in this. So we go this way, and... Oh, ah, got hit for the first time. And there's. I'm gonna go kill this guy just so I can, because I can, and so. And then you gotta go either through the bottom part up here, or you have to go through the door I just went through. Either one will work. Either way, you gotta get to the center room here and go to this door here. And then ignore these two, because you don't really need to fight them. Go this way, and she'll say something. And you gotta push this to the left. You can't do this without Zelda, because you need two people to push this. And you don't need to push it all the way, by the way. You can push it most of the way. Go this way, and it's a dark room with mice. I hate these things because they always get cheap shots on you. Get back here. And... Hey, get back here. Hey! See? Exactly what I mean. They're coming at you right in the middle of the dark. If you hit A on a lamp with the torch, the lantern equipped, then you can uh, light the area up a little better and see where the mice are so you can kill them easier. I've been through this area plenty of times, so I'm not going to need to light all the torches, but... I'll go ahead and light them up for you so you can see what's in the room. This room has a bunch of snakes in it. I'd make a Indiana Jones reference, but I can't really do his voice. Ah, snakes. They're actually called ropes in the Zelda series, but I call them snakes. There's two snakes at the end of this hallway here. Bats, keys in the Zelda series. Die. Small key. Eat those up. And then you go this way. And here's the sewers. There's a lot of rats in here, so see those little rats? You can uh, smack them like this. From, they don't enter the water here, so if you stand in the sewers and smack them, it's best just to do that. Oh, hey, that was a red ruby. It gives you 20 rupees. And this is the right door you gotta go through. And I guess I'm gonna let this one go over 10 minutes. I'm almost out of here. Huh. Hey, don't do that. Get back here. You don't actually have to kill all these guys, I just like practicing with the sword. Pick these up. For 
room, I remember. Torches will stay through rooms, so you can light up to two torches on one end. And that one always has a key, so if you really want to skip this area, you can just slash that guy and get the key and get out of here. Get back here, you stupid mouse. reckless in this game. Dang it. Die. Die, die, die. Uh -uh, not get behind me this time. Where you at, mouse? There you are. Hey, hey. Something stopped in the middle of that. We'll be back here later, so these cracks, they're bombable. Right here, you want to stand your face left and start slashing immediately so you don't get hit. I'm getting pretty lucky with the red rubies. Red peas. Notice how she specifically doesn't state which switch to pull? Okay, that was lucky. I know it switched to pull already, but I'll just demo what happens if you pull the wrong switch. Ropes drop to the ground. So I'm just gonna stand here and slash. Crazy. Try and kill them before they can get to me. Got it. Got behind me. Got behind me. There we go. That's what happens if you pull the wrong one. She uh, starts up the dialogue if you're on the right one, though. And then that door opens and you go down this way. And time for a long dialogue. No, I don't. I need you to say that all over again. No. Get out of my way. And that has a heart container. That increases your life by by one heart. You see it has four hearts now instead of three. So that means I can take two more extra hits if I'm careful. So this is the overworld. Press L, it'll show you a map of the entire overworld. So I'll go ahead and detail where all the things are when I get to them. At the moment, we're outside the church, and that's our goal right here, Kakariko Village. So we gotta go down here, past the fortune teller's house, and I'll tell you what that guy does next time. So see what, ha see what happens next time. That's my best exit.